guys did it and it's back to school time last year i did a video for back to school with tech gadgets and accessories that i think you might need as a student no matter if you're in school or at university and surprisingly many people tuned in so i decided to do something like a part two this year because there's so many new tech devices that came out Apple Vision Pro, for example, but I want to focus on devices that you will use to help you with school. You can carry in school, they can help you out with the homework that you have or any other assignments. So don't be surprised if I don't say a device that you use very often, because personally, I believe that you might not need this on a daily basis and I don't see how it can help you with school. But yes, back to school season is back because we all know that some people go crazy in shopping and mostly I have seen many people buy new phones. So let's see what devices you need for school. I will start with the most common one and that is for you how many videos I have seen of people buying phones right before school slash university. And I don't understand if you're looking for an iPhone, for example, the newest one literally comes in the middle of September. So you can get the previous gen that you wanted with a little bit of discount or say that it would just cost cheaper because there is a newer one. But I guess the model say doesn't work like this for everyone. So if you're looking for an iPhone specifically, I recommend from iPhone 12 to the newest one because I believe that the iPhone 12 still has a few more years that will get software updates. Also, it's a decent phone because as a student, except if you're not a content creator, I think you just scroll down social media, occasionally post something. But the camera is still great and you can take amazing high quality photos and videos. If you're looking for a Samsung, I can recommend you the Samsung S20 series and up. Yes, I'm not saying the iPhone Pros or the Samsung Galaxy Ultra because you don't need to get the best of the best just to post high quality photos and videos and to text your friends. Honestly, even with an older generation, you can still do that. As well of course there are many other brands you could take oppo i haven't heard anything about huawei lately but i have to say they still make great phones so the market for phones is getting bigger and bigger literally samsung and that was their zip foldable and flip phones so we still have more and more phones to come until the end of the year but yeah see that the market is growing up with phones even though you bought one last year it's so last year i need a newer one like Yes, you don't need the best of the best, you just need the phone that works well, it's fast, and I believe these brands will serve you very well. You can go to school, most importantly to university, without a laptop. I studied programming and I needed a good laptop that will serve me well, that it's faster and it's not that thicker because I did have a previous laptop that I used when I was in high school, but mostly it was like stationary, it was staying at home, it wasn't carried anywhere. But when I came to university, I came to the laptop to this place, to another, go to different rooms at university and carrying a larger and heavier laptop wasn't ideal. So the current one that I'm using, I've showed you many, many times and it's still working great, is the Lenovo IdeaPad. Yes, there is a Spider-Man sticker, it's called the Fixie. Anyways, it's just slimmer compared to the other one that I used to have. It kind of looks like a cheaper version of the MacBook Pro. But speaking of this, Apple also offers discounts for back to school season. So if you are a teacher or a student, check out at Apple, they might have a discount for you. I'm not saying that you need the M3 MacBook Pro maxed out, no. Honestly, I believe that even M2, maybe I should say M1, is still doing a great job because what a student needs, except if you're not a content creator and edit videos, like you might need to do some presentations, some to-do lists if you still do this, like to write some reports. And these laptops, M1 and M2, you can choose the MacBook Pro. Even the MacBook Air became so powerful that I think you'll be settled in without needing to spend extra amount of money i think that will be super great if you're not looking for any apple laptop i literally can recommend lenovo is a great brand my previous laptop was lenovo this one was lenovo so i had zero issues with it well of course if you want a mac os of course you have to choose a macbook but for the windows lovers i never used mac os so i keep staying with my windows laptop i can recommend also dell it's an amazing laptop 
I have seen many companies using this brand for their working laptops and I have to say they're great. Also, I can recommend Asus have good laptops and HP. The, there are varieties. Choose your brand and just get a laptop because I can guarantee you, you need one. You have a phone, you have a laptop, but what about notes? Yes, paper notes still exist and this is why notebooks still exist, but what about digital notes? More and more people are joining the family of digital notes. I was one of them. This is the reason why I bought my iPad. This is it. I have the iPad Air from 2020. Yes, it is a bit older one, but honestly, I don't mind. Recently refreshed with the case. Also, it covers the camera. It had another camera attachment if you have the iPad Pro, but I just don't. Also, it comes with a keyboard. I have been using this keyboard since I bought it and I have to say, one of the best decisions in my life, yes, it's nothing to do with the magic keyboard, but I have to say that it's worked fine. Also, this case can be rotated in 360 as well with a snap of your fingers, so you can just use it this way if you want. But personally, I don't like it that much. Hello to yourself. And this is why I don't want to use it this way. Of course, this kind of defeats the purpose because this keyboard also has a trackpad and so on. Well, I can use my iPad as a laptop. Yes, but for some reasons, maybe let's say editing, I still prefer to use my laptop. Great app for notes is Good Notes. It recently got updated to Good Notes 6. Well, recently a few months ago, but I can see many students using it. I use it. I'm using the free version because I had like three subjects that needed to be taken with notes. Everything else is on a laptop. We are making programs, coding and other stuff, and I just didn't need it. But I have seen the aesthetic notes that some people are using their iPads for and I have to say it's totally worth it and you pay only once and you get free for all so I have to say it is a good app and definitely a reason why you need to get a tablet now I want to mention some accessories I will categorize these items as accessories because I don't think you need them in your daily life but it really depends on like what you're doing at that age of course if you're a content creator, you might need a good camera. Yes, I have seen many students vlogging. So basically you can just go and get any vlogging camera, but the most common brand I have seen creators getting is Canon, no matter if it's a smaller or a bigger camera, it's just one of the most popular brands. Second, I can say it's Sony. Yes, we even had a Sony camera at home. That was probably like 10 years ago when we used even more before like smartphones became that popular with such a good and high quality cameras. So the quality of the camera that we have at home, it's not the best or to say it's very, very bad. But hey, I have a phone and literally I'm vlogging with it. So even if you don't want to spend money on a camera, you can just use this. Of course, for example, you don't have a camera. You can use your phone, you need a tripod. This is also a good idea to get a tripod because I'm literally using one right now and it helps me so much since I got it. Another thing that I will categorize as an accessory is a battery pack. Let's just say uh, you vlog a lot on your phone and you don't want your phone to die in the most important moment that you are about to make a video of. So you need a battery pack that will serve you well. Of course, Apple provides one, but it's a little bit expensive. So you can go with cheaper options on Amazon. They have tons of it. Anchor is a very good brand when it comes to chargers and wireless batteries. So you should definitely check them out. Maybe a ring light if you really are in a bit darker place and you want to squeeze a little bit some light in. But these are a few accessories that I think you might need as a student. Of course, for a device somewhere else, why didn't you add a smartwatch, for example? I could do that as well, but I don't think this is a must. I survived school and university without having a smartwatch. And personally, I don't believe that it would have changed my life having it with me. So I don't think that a smartwatch is something necessary. Of course, except maybe if you're not a person who loves to go to the gym and just trains a lot. And who is not using it to cheat on a test, for example, because such things have happened. I have heard that... So people at different universities are literally taking their smartwatches because people have tried to cheat with them. But these are most of the accessories and tech gadgets that I believe you need as a student, no matter if you are at school or at university. Oh, 
Okay, guys, that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what are the tech gadgets and devices that you use the most as a student, no matter in school or at university. For me, I have to say that these are my phone and my laptop. I use my laptop for studying all the time. It helps me out in so many occasions that, yes, I still use my iPad, but let's just say for studying, I still prefer my laptop. But hey, if buying a new gadget is your way to motivate yourself to study more, just go and do it. I'm sure it will serve you well. There are many gadgets and devices that will help you out with studying, but that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button and can like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time.